Welcome to the 2020 Definitive Guide on Using Docker to Train Deep Learning Models. First off, what is Docker? Well, very briefly, Docker is a tool designed to make it really easy to create and deploy and run your machine learning and deep learning applications. This is because everything you install is isolated in its own container and it won't affect your installation on your local drive. Now, this is really useful if you want to downgrade your version of TensorFlow for whatever reason, and you may require CUDA 10, but you have CUDA 10.2. Now, you don't want to uninstall your version of CUDA 10.2 because you could potentially break things and maybe you have a stable version that you're happy with. So instead of going through the whole process of uninstalling, you can just create an isolated container, install the version of CUDA that you need and the version of TensorFlow you need without affecting anything installed on your local drive. So what's another good reason to install Docker? Well, you don't need to worry about installing any libraries or dependencies, as you can just take a container that comes pre-bundled with all the requirements and prerequisites. For example, before installing TensorFlow, you need CUDA, CUDNN, TensorRT, and potentially other libraries. Now, simply pulling the official TensorFlow container from Docker Hub saves you from the headaches of figuring out what versions of CUDA you need, CUDNN, and so on, and trying to get them all working. So it's a really good way to save time since you don't have to spend any time debugging why your installation doesn't work. So let's go through a really quick full example on getting Docker up and running for deep learning training and inference. For this example, we're going to be using Ubuntu 18.04, but the process should be very similar for other Linux distributions. Now, if you're running Windows, you unfortunately won't be able to use Docker, but I'll have a separate video on installing TensorFlow and PyTorch on Windows and getting them to work with your GPUs. So first we want to install Docker if we don't have it already. The easiest way to install it is by running these commands shown on the screen. I won't run them as I've already installed Docker. So once everything is installed, you can test if the installation worked correctly. And you can do this by running docker dash dash version, and you should get an output similar to this. Okay, so now we have everything working, we want to train a model using a GPU. So we want to use Nvidia Docker to do this. So we're going to navigate to the Nvidia Docker GitHub repo, and we're gonna find instructions here on how to do this. So it's as simple as running these commands shown over here. Now I'll have all of the commands shown in this tutorial in the video description, so don't worry about having to type what you see on the screen. So now that we have everything installed, we can go to Docker Hub and search for the latest build of TensorFlow. So we're just gonna search for TensorFlow and select the first one, and we're gonna head over to the tab section. So from here, we have all of the tagged releases for TensorFlow. Now we're interested in the nightly one, so we want the GPU version, so we're going to type nightly-gpu, and this is the one we want down here. And the command to pull it is just this thing over here, so we can just copy that, and then we're going to run that in our terminal. So when you pull a container, you do docker pull, but since we've copied it, we're just going to paste that exact command. So hit enter, and docker should start pulling all of the layers it needs to build that container. Now, this is quite a large image, so it might take a bit of time. I'm gonna fast forward and we'll come back when it's done. So once we're done with that, we want to see what images we have downloaded. So the way you can do that is by running docker image ls, and that should list everything. Now I have quite a few images, but in here you just would see what you've just installed. Now there is a main distinction to be made because there are two types of things that you work with in Docker. You have images and you have containers. Now an image is what you pull from say Docker Hub and that has all of the file systems that you need to run your applications. A Docker container is what you get when you run an image using the command on screen. So let's break down each part of the command. So you have docker run and then dash it. Dash it makes sure that you're running in interactive mode. Now the next option is dash dash rm. Now this is optional and what this will do is it will completely destroy the container that you run when you exit from it. Now, if you want to reuse this container later, make sure that you remove this dash dash rm option. You then specify which GPUs you want to use. If you want to use all of them, you just say dash dash GPUs all. The next section is where we're going to mount folders on our system so that we can use them inside the container. Let's say for training a deep learning model, you have a data set that you want to use. You would mount that folder into the container. The next part is where you say which image you want to build your container on top of. In this case, since we pulled the TensorFlow nightly build, we'll say TensorFlow slash TensorFlow, and then a colon, and then nightly GPU. Finally, since we want to interact with that container, we add bash to be able to run commands. 
Okay, so let's just create that container. So we're going to hit enter, and this is what you should see. So since we mounted a file on our local system to into the container, we can go and search for that in the container. So if we hit, if we type ls, we can see all of the files. And since we mounted our current working directory into workspace, we can cd into that, and we can see all of the files that were in our current working directory. Now you can make that working directory whatever folder you want on your system. So another command I'm going to show you is something called docker systemdf. Now this lists all of the images and all of the containers that are on your system. Now say you want to remove some containers or images, you're not using them anymore. You can run a simple command, which is docker system prune. And what that's going to do is prune all of the unused containers and images. Now this might be slightly dangerous because anything that you don't have running right now is going to get deleted. Okay, that should be everything you need to get up and running, start using Docker images and containers, and train your deep learning models without having the headache of, of installing dependencies and libraries, and it should make things much, much easier for you. So thank you for watching, and for those of you who couldn't follow along because you are running on Windows, keep an eye out for a future video where I'll be showing you how to install TensorFlow and all of the dependencies if you're running on Windows.